Welcome to our video highlighting the top 5 vintage motorcycles that have become collectibles. In this video, we'll tell you about 5 historically significant motorcycles that are attracting the attention of collectors from all over the world. Collecting vintage motorcycles is not only a passion, but also a way to preserve the history and heritage of motorcycle culture. In our list you will find motorcycles from different eras and different countries, each of which has its own uniqueness and value. Fifth place goes to the Ducati 750SS. The Ducati 750SS was launched in 1972 and is considered one of the most significant motorcycles in Ducati history. It was the first motorcycle to use a multi-port fuel injection engine, giving it an advantage in performance and efficiency. The Ducati 750SS was designed by renowned Italian designer Piero Pasolini. He created the elegant lines and graceful silhouette that still delight many motorcycle enthusiasts today. The Ducati 750SS has been a successful competitor in many motorcycle racing events. It won several races, including the famous Amola 200 in 1972, where the motorcycle demonstrated its high performance and reliability. The Ducati 750SS was produced in limited quantities. Only about 401 examples were produced, making it even more valuable and desirable among collectors. The Ducati 750SS had a significant influence on subsequent Ducati models. Its innovative engine and design set the stage for the development of other Ducati sports motorcycles that continue to be popular today. In fourth place is the BMW R75. The BMW R75 was developed and used during World War II. It was one of the main motorcycles used by the German Army. The R75 was known for its reliability and cross-country capability, making it ideal for military operations. One of the features of the BMW R75 was its ability to carry a sidecar. This made it possible to use the motorcycle to transport cargo or an additional passenger. The sidecar could also be armed with a machine gun, making the R75 an effective combat weapon. The BMW R75 was one of the first motorcycles to use a shaft and drive shaft drive system. This provided more reliable power transfer to the rear wheel and improved handling. After the end of the war, production of the BMW R75 was resumed in the 1950s. The motorcycle became popular among civilians and was used in various fields, including the police and the postal service. The BMW R75 is today a prized piece for collectors of military history and vintage motorcycles. Its historical value and unique design make it a desirable collector's item. Third place for BSA Gold Star. The BSA Gold Star was one of the most successful racing motorcycles of its time. He won numerous races including the Isle of Man TT and the Motorcycle Grand Prix. Its high performance and reliability have made it popular among racers. The BSA Gold Star was available in a variety of models including 350cc, 500cc and 600cc. Each model had its own unique characteristics and specifications to suit the needs of different racing classes. The BSA Gold Star was equipped with an overhead valve OHV, engine, providing better performance and efficiency. This was an innovative solution for its time and helped the motorcycle achieve high speeds on the track. The BSA Gold Star was very popular among motorcycle and racing enthusiasts. Its elegant design and high performance made it a desirable motorcycle for those looking for a combination of style and speed. The BSA Gold Star has gained cult status over time. It has become a collector's item and a source of admiration for many retro motorcycle enthusiasts. Its historical value and rarity make it especially valuable to collectors. Second place Indian Chief. The Indian Chief is one of the most iconic motorcycle models produced by Indian Motorcycle. It was introduced in 1922 and has since become a symbol of American motorcycle culture. The Indian Chief was known for its powerful engine. The original models were equipped with 61 or 74 cubic inch, 1000 or 1200 cc, V-twin engines that provided high performance and speed. Indian Chief attracted attention with its elegant design. It had distinctive curved fenders, a large front fender and chrome details that gave it a unique and attractive appearance. Indian Chief became popular not only among motorcyclists, but also in the film industry. It was often used in films, including the famous film, Easy Rider, 1969, where Indian Chief motorcycles played an important role. 
After several years of inactivity, the Indian motorcycle brand was revived and a new version of the Indian Chief was released in 1999. It was a modern motorcycle that combined classic style and modern technology. In first place is Harley Davidson Knucklehead. The motorcycle got its name, Knucklehead, which can be translated as, Knucklehead, due to the shape of the top of the engine, which resembles a knuckle. This unique design has become one of the most recognizable features of the motorcycle. The Knucklehead was introduced in 1936 and was the first Harley-Davidson motorcycle to use a V-twin engine. It replaced the previous, flathead, model and was an important step in the development of motorcycle technology. The Knucklehead was the first Harley-Davidson motorcycle to use aluminum cylinder heads. This improved engine cooling and increased performance. Knucklehead also pioneered the use of a new lubrication system known as a constant pressure lubrication system. It provided more efficient lubrication of the engine and increased its reliability. The Harley-Davidson Knucklehead has become one of the most coveted motorcycles among collectors. Its historical value, unique design and rarity make it a valuable collector's item. We hope our video helped you learn more about vintage motorcycles and perhaps inspired you to dive into this fascinating world of collecting for yourself. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching, and see you again.